Many people don't realize how easy it is to get your image onto a pot holder. Whether you're looking for a fun hobby or starting a business, we'll show you what you need and how to do it with Epson desktop dye sublimation technology. In order to get your image onto a pot holder, here's what you need. An Epson F170 dye sublimation printer loaded with multi-use transfer paper, heat transfer tape, a pair of scissors, a heat pad, a blank pot holder, a small heat press like this one, and a pair of heat gloves. Once you have the finished design for your pot holder, this is how to send it to the F170 printer. For Windows users, click the print button. Choose properties. Choose your paper type. For pot holder, choose textile. Click OK. Then click print to send the file to the printer. For Mac users, click the print button. Choose printer. Choose print settings. Choose your media type. For a pot holder, choose textile. Click print and click print again to send the file to the printer. And now we need to trim our paper to size. So now we're going to attach our pot holder onto our printed image. To do that, simply flip it over, line it up, and apply your heat transfer tape. And now we're ready to press it. Before we press our item, you may want to protect your table surface. To do so, place a piece of scrap wood or a piece of cardboard, then place a piece of craft paper on top of that. Now we're ready to place our item. We're gonna grab our heat press and begin our timer. We are pressing at 400 degrees for 60 seconds, and when the timer is complete, it will alert us. Be sure to lift the press up slowly. Be sure to put on your heat gloves as your item will be very hot. Once you've done that, simply peel the paper away and you're done.